Uh, no, Mr. Papa John, sir, uh, my pizza figures is not the reason why your pizza sales have recently dipped. Um, it's the, uh, jeez, uh, oh, it's the kneeling NFL players. Uh, yeah, that's why. Okay, bye now. <sighs> Fair use on YouTube. It's a daily fight. I'll bore you another time. Let's get started. Answer me this. Have you ever tried or made homemade chocolate chip cookies? Bit into unexpecting heavenly lusciousness, but instead got some awful cracker-like crunch? Huh. This is more common than I thought. Even though I wouldn't call my chocolate chip cookie recipe innovative, the key is in the method. But first, the ingredients. Here's what you're gonna need. Do you like my little skateboard dolly? That's the power of love. Make the dough in the stand mixer with the paddle attachment. Now let's crack in our two eggs. Mix them on medium low. And it's time to add our sugars. Mix on medium low. Add our salt and our baking soda. And now slowly drizzle in the melted butter. Turn the mixer to low and slowly add our flour. sides of the bowl and add the chocolate chips. Take the mixing bowl, cover it in saran wrap, stick it in the fridge, and let it chill for about an hour. Now, before we take the dough out of the fridge, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Do you live in a country where women are considered the personal property of their husbands? Well, the number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. Now grab two aluminum half baking sheets and line them with parchment paper. Here's, oh, here's the thing, have a little lip of parchment paper coming off the tray. You'll find out why later. Oh, oh, and uh, get yourself a cooling rack and set it aside for later. Next, grab yourself an ice cream scoop. Now throw two to three tablespoons in size. Scoop up the batter. And uh, since the cookies are gonna spread out in the oven, leave about an inch of space from each cookie. Stick our cookies in the middle of our 375 degree oven. And let them cook for 13 to 16 minutes. All right, when they're just turning brown around the edges, take them out of the oven and using the slip of parchment paper, slide them onto our cooling rack like this. You know, as these cookies cool, I think I should let you know why your cookies are coming out like crackers. Reason number one, you're letting them cool down on the still hot baking tray. Letting them cool on a cooling rack will give you the chewy texture you oh so desire. Reason number two, you pull them out of the oven when they look done. But here's the thing, 
they're still cooking. By the time they cool down, they become those crackers I warn you about. So to summarize, take them out of the oven a bit sooner than you think, immediately put them on cooling racks, and let them cool. Even though the smell of cookies permeated the house, I still remained calm and didn't go insane. <laughs> Well, I didn't go insane. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. <laughs>